हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन इन बैक्टीरिया बैक्टीरिया रिप्रोड्यूस बाय टू वेज वन इज ए सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड अदर इज जेनेटिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन काइंडली कीप इट इन माइंड that true sexual reproduction is absent in bacteria now i will like to start with asexual reproduction there are further two types of asexual reproduction and uh, i will like to begin with binary fission this is the most common method of bacterial reproduction under favorable condition first of all dna replicates the meaning of replication is that dna forms two copies of its own okay then bacterial cell divides into two daughter cells with the formation of transverse septum in the center of cell okay remember it it divides by the formation of transverse septum then each daughter cell grows into new bacterium the second method of reproduction is by the formation of endospores endospore formation always occurs under unfavorable conditions unfavorable conditions means when there are harsh type of conditions like extreme heat food scarcity are uh, are like extremely cold this endospore is highly resistant structure it is resistant to high temperature radiations antibiotics and chemicals so the presence of these things will do no effect to under endospores the structure of endospore is highly resistant due to presence of a component that is known as calcium dipocholinate in the cortex on arrival of favorable conditions endospore bursts and the bacteria grows and comes out of the endospore now let's discuss about genetic recombination <coughs> genetic recombination includes three methods first one transformation second transduction and third conjugation firstly i will like to discuss transformation let's say we have two bacteria one the donor that gives the genetic material and the other one recipient that takes the genetic material so in transformation the donor and recipient they don't come in contact the donor cell releases a piece of dna which is actively taken by the recipient cell from the solution kindly keep it in mind in transformation the donor and recipient cells they don't come in contact okay the <clears throat> donor cell it releases the um genetic material in solution which is taken up by the recipient cell drift in year 1928 worked on the effect of diplococcus or streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria on mice and discovered the process of transformation now transduction in transduction a small double stranded piece of dna 
is transferred from donor to recipient by a bacteriophage. Bacteriophage is a kind of virus that actually eats up bacteria. Okay. Phage means eating up. So, in transduction, the genetic material is transferred by bacteriophage. Clear? The mode of genetic recombination in bacteria was first demonstrated by Zinder and Ledenberg in year 1952 while working with the bacterium Slamonella typhenarium. Now, conjugation. Conjugation was first discovered in year 1946 by Ledenberg and Tatum in E. coli. In conjugation, one bacteria, it contains the gene for fertility that is known as F, F plasmid and the other bacteria that is lacking this F factor is considered as female. The one bacterium that is having the F plasmid is known as male and the one that lacks F plasmid is considered as female. First of all, the donor cell which is F positive, it gives the genetic material to F negative. Clear? So, this transfer of genetic material is possible with the help of sex pili. Sex pili functions as conjugation tube. The F factor which is present only in F plus cells are you can say in males replicates and the replica one piece of F it moves to uh, F negative through this sex pili or conjugation tube. Both of cells then gets separate and due to the transfer of F factor from F plus to F negative, now both the cells are F positive bacteria. Thank you for listening my lecture. In case you have missed any of them, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetcode.com and you can download the lectures from there.